I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with a three minute cattle market update for Wednesday, July the 8th, where your cattle board laughed right in the face of sharply higher fat cattle trade last week uh, that ended up on Friday there and, and really put a shot in the arm to the cash market and everybody's hopes there. But uh, the board opened up higher on Monday and ran into a lot of uh, sharp technical support early Monday when it come up there, but then no doubt ran into a lot of uh, sell orders there as, as it made that technical support and all those sell orders were totally uh, speculative but uh, as soon as it hit those and, and got up there pretty high then it started uh, backtracking big time and come down a whole bunch and uh, your live cattle on August ended up on Monday down a dollar and a quarter after trading so much higher early then Tuesday was down 55 cents to end the day on Tuesday at 116 now your June, of course we're getting close to, to settling that, but your June board was 121.22, which is back to that big huge basis again, which could affect uh, this week's cash trade. But your feeder cattle on the August contract, Monday was down $1.15, Tuesday was down just $0.07 cents to end the day on Tuesday at 145.45. You're seeing me cash uh, feeder cattle index, uh, the latest to come out was 148.08 which was actually down 63 cents and that was from Monday sales. Uh, that's, uh, that was Tuesday's report with the last sales on Monday. Down 63 after those, those Monday markets were sharply higher but that's compared to a week ago. So that tells us that the, the latest, the last cleanup trade and the direct sales that went in there were higher than what the Monday auctions were and, uh, and it backed up from that real-time index all the way through Tuesday sales at 147.34 and it was down uh, 34 cents or from Tuesday sales though so it's backing up some but still they compare those auctions to the previous week and they were a lot higher than the previous week. Your corn has been creeping up and, and that is going to be tough on the cattle market. It continues to go up. It was up 10 cents on Monday there and, and your new crop corn is now 432 and look out uh, that, uh, that's going to be a bearish signal on these feeder cattle for sure going forward if it, if it doesn't run into something but continues to move up. Your hog market is really propping everything up on your livestock end. Hogs continue to surge here and uh, ended up on Tuesday at uh, 86 and change and that's on a, on a dressed hog there. But your, uh, your live hogs are now 65 cents if anybody prices a live hog anymore. But those of you that used to have hogs Remember that 65 was an awful good price on a live haul. Your weighted average on your fat cattle trade last week on a big trade of 103,300 head and a lot of those cattle shipped right away so we know that these packers need these cattle. They're making money, they're, they're killing a lot of cattle and they're moving the meat out the back door so that's all positive. We've got a lot of positive fundamentals there but your live steers in the five areas average 129.29 that was up four dollars and thirty cents from the previous week and you can tell that a lot of that trade was in the northern plains in nebraska a lot more than it was on a negotiated basis in the southern plains because well, that weighted average is way over 129 so uh, you can tell a lot of that was uh, influenced by your northern trade and you can also tell that on your dress trade because your dress trade was 205.66 up 738 and it should be up that much uh, when you're when your live sale is up that much but your dress trade's really strong again but you look at some cash feeder cattle markets opening the week Oklahoma City the big thing there is they only had 6100 head and really no problem from from uh, wet roads or anything like that and that's two week sales because they didn't have a sale the week before on a Monday but just 6100 head that'd be a huge sale for most places but not for Oklahoma City but your feeder cattle uh, sold three to eight dollars higher. There's that three to eight higher that we've been seeing uh, late last week on your on your cash feeder cattle sales. Joplin was also three to eight dollars higher on your feeder cattle. So you know that's what it is. But in Oklahoma City, there was spots as much as ten dollars higher. Calves were two to four dollars higher. Again in Joplin, now they had a big run in Joplin. A lot of people anticipating that higher market and they've been saving up some cattle there. But Joplin sold 9,100 head uh, on Monday there with feeder cattle three to eight dollars higher like we said. Calves were two to as much as ten dollars higher and most of that higher on the calves was on the heifers that didn't sell very weak, very good the week before. But you look at some uh, individual uh, sales there on Cattle Market Central. 
You look at McCook, Nebraska on Monday afternoon around 4 o'clock, they sold a big load, 82 head of 751 steers at 159.50. Uh, now 750 is what your CME index quotes and your, your index is at 148 and a little more and your RTI also at 147.34 and they sold cattle that are on par for that at 159.50. Kingsville, Missouri, Kingsville Livestock Auction on Tuesday at 120 in the afternoon sold 60 head, a load of 902 pound steers at 147.10. Those are pretty strong prices. That's three minutes. We'll talk to you on Friday.